Circle. Sean, we are back and ready to go. Season 7, episode 8.1, Inside the 360 on Twitter. I don't know if we're ready to go, but we're back. Oh, that's true. I, I'll give you that, Sean. I hey, will give you that. Before we jump ahead here, I like that you guys noticed the new shirt. Yes, I have one. I, I plan to wear that uh, later on. Didn't okay. want to get it all pitted out, you know. Thank you, West High. Felix gave these to us yesterday at the Newark sectional. He did get a little hot and crazy, but he's still our guy, but thanks for the shirt. Boom. Vote for him if you're in the Columbus Public uh, School System. Uh, Sean, yesterday was all about sectional tournaments. Statewide sectional oh, that tournaments. that was yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday, yep. Ah, As a matter man. of fact... I knew there was something I was missing when mm. I was just... Yeah, just house. hanging around, you know, yeah. biting your fingernails or whatever. Yeah. Friday and Saturday was the Division Two, but we're here to talk about sectionals. We had five, count them, one, two, three, four, five in Division One. We had Whitehall, Watkins Memorial, Upper Arlington, Marysville, and Newark. We only had one for Division Two. It was a two-day tournament out at Licking Valley. Okay. And then Division Three had two sectionals with Cardington Lincoln and Madison Plains. Oh, I got a question for you. I, I put you on the spot and you crack like an egg here. Yes, go ahead. Do both those sectionals, Division Three, feed to the same district? This year they do, Heath. Okay. Yes, and we're bringing up uh, Southeast teams. I'm proud of you. Yep, thank you, thank you. Okay. Sean, let's talk about those D3. D3, Madison Plains. Let's start at Madison Plains, Sean. Your winners, North Union with 186 points, closely behind Liberty Union, the Lions, with 182 points, followed by the staple in Division Three, West wow. Jeff, with 154 points, Sean. Four so, points, that's really close. That's you know, real that close. That could come into that random buy thing, and I'm being serious. Like, that could just have been like a random buy. You know, this was an issue we talked about in a couple uh, Section, Division yeah. One sections last year. With the, hey, does one seed get the buy, does not get the seed get the buy. So we're getting these random, and that could have been that situation where that kid got a match and got a pin. Man, in Liberty Union, we've talked about. They're, they're, yeah. they're coming, they're rising. We were talking about that last year as a Division three team to look out for in the future, and apparently... Uh, and what a way to, like, put your finger on the on the area and say, hey, we're here, right. win a sectional title. But, hey, they're four points behind. North Union, congrats. They have some studs. Uh, they, they had three champions. Champ yep, champ? they did. They had 120, uh, 182, and 220 were your champs okay. there. So they did a great job, North Union, great job. Uh, that's Madison Plains. Let's go north a little bit to Cardington. A little Lincoln. bit? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what you consider a little bit or a lot. That's a lot. Uh, well, Cardington Lincoln, uh, your champ, Sean. Northmore walks away. Sectional champs, they're also our state rep uh, for oh, the state okay. duels. So Northmore walks away with uh, 206 points. Their champs followed closely again. Tight race by Marion Pleasant. Great job. Sort of flew under the radar from my perspective. I don't remember them being as... as really? Yeah, well, man, Pleasant has like... They have some good kids, but I didn't oh, see them yeah. finishing oh, second in the okay. sectional at uh, Cardington this year. I don't know. Do you not but watch the show? I must not watch, the, must show. Not watch the show. I, it's not that I thought Mount Gilead, who finished third, would overtake them. I just didn't know how it was going to all shake out. Mount Gilead did finish third with 152 and a half points. Sean, but before we Hold on, complete, I was about to say, did Northmore have chance? Yes. yes, they did. They had one at 132 pounds, and they also had the Becker brothers at 145 and 152. Those boys are dynamic. I'm jacked too, so I guess you're jacked. <laughs> no, they're jacked. I'm oh, just okay. I'm just me. I'm withering away to nothing here. <laughs> Sean, that's Madison Plains and Cardington for Division Three. Let's go to the two day sectional okay. at Licking Valley. A couple big matches happened there. And another big thing, I was checking the scores on uh, Friday and I kid you not, I thought the I thought it was over then. I was like, holy smokes, these, this team has a lot of points. I the thought team, that too. After the first round, I really thought it was over. The team that wins it, River Valley. Congratulations, Caledonia River Valley. You know how they won it? They had more points than the second place team? With depth. Oh, with depth, yes. Because they won it, what was the score there? They had 169 uh, points. They won by 30, over 30 points. They probably had multiple champions. Oh, you would think that, but Hartley actually finished second with 132 points. Caledonia, River Valley only has one champ. 145, one champ. 145, See, 145 pounds. You know, we go through this all the time. They have one champ and win it by opening depth. length. It's all about depth. Yes, most certainly, and they do a great job of filling weight. Who classes. got second? Bishop Hartley actually got second. Okay. Yes, so Hayden Daniels is a champ for River Valley at 145 pounds. Shaw, Bishop Hartley, did they have one champ? No. Two champs. No. Three champs? Yes. Who were yes. the three champs? Who were the three champs? We had uh, Kevin Petrella at 106, Paul Petrella at 152, and John Rathburn at 195. Oh, congratulations, There's, yes. guys. Yes, well done, gentlemen. We love seeing you guys. You guys are awesome. They, those two teams, hey, ready for this? This is the first time I remember seeing a tie. Uh, tie for third. I'm sure it's happened I'm before, sure I just don't remember. But Amanda Clear Creek and London tie for third out there. So. I bet you it happens once every other year. It might. With eight sectionals and yeah, eight that's, that's a lot, man. That's true. Sean, one match I want to talk about at the Licking Valley um, Licking Valley sectional. I, there were plenty of matches to talk about. We don't have all day to talk about this, so but I do want to break it down, Sean. 
Addison Fogel, 126 pounds. Addison Fogel is taking on, he's a senior, mm -hmm. accomplished, very good, very good. Taking on up and comer, Terry from Granville. Douglas Terry. Yes, freshman. A very good up and comer. Very good. This match, I, I thought Addison would be able to dictate the pace and pull ahead by six or seven. I think the over under was set at six and a half. And uh, it ended up being 5 3 final. That's a little closer than I thought. Now, who was giving six and a half? Well, and uh, where was my wallet at this yeah. time? No way that should have been six and a half. Man, I tell you, they're two tough competitors. It would have been great to see that match. Um, only one sectional had a live feed, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's talk about. Get a little plug there. Let's little talk plug about there. some Division One uh, sectional tournaments. The new up and comer for Division One, Whitehall Yearling. Yeah. And we mentioned how they go north to the district. And uh, we brought down two teams from up north. We brought down Ash and Crestview. Very accomplished. And we also brought in uh, Mansfield Comprehensive. Very accomplished as well. And uh, they actually walked away with first and second at the More White like House ran section. away with it. I should say ran away with it. Yes. Uh, Ashton Crestview walks away with, runs away with 304 points. 304 points. You say to yourself, that's a lot of points. You know what you do that? You know how you do that? The strength of 11 champions. I still say this. We talked about this off camera. I don't know how they scored... 304, 304 points. points with 11 champions, and it's not the record in Central Ohio. I talked about this like a couple years ago when Liberty put up that silly yes. number of like 319 or 320. I think that it was something like that, yes, yes. And I'm like, no, I know they only had eight or nine champs, or they might have had nine champs. I'm like, no, you don't understand. This is a crazy number. And I went back and looked, and I was like, they had 36 or 37 pens or tags. Bro, that's insane. That is that's insane. That's like an insane number. That's how you get another 30 points. I'm talking I random bias. I'm blaming yeah. random bias personally. Random I'm going to bring. Yeah, but Ashton Crestview okay. comes down. They, they wreck shop uh, Mansfield Conference. Do we have any local champs? We in did have sectional? some local champs okay. at the uh, Whitehall sectional. Hammerall, Thomas Worthington, 145 pounds. Returning district placer? Unbelievable. Does a great job. And then my boy at Whetstone, Tom Jones, grabs Sesse and says, You're going to win the sectional tournament. He does it at 160 pounds. Sesse, great job. He, I tell you what, man, he never stops moving, man. He's a constant mover. And that's what you got to love about a kid like that. Okay. So, and heavyweight, fantastic match, coach. Yeah. Can you do you know the Whitehall Yearling's last name? Well, I can give you his first name. Uh, okay, that's okay. Nadongo has a great overtime match, sudden victory match at uh, at heavyweight over Jones from Franklin Heights. And I, I think you gotta watch those Franklin Heights dudes, man. Them dudes are <laughs> some tough dudes. If you ever meet a Franklin Heights guy, watch out. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to stand too close to him. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> great match. Um, hey, one of the things is. You know you got that kid that's that's just tough as nails. And for Coach P at Whitehall, they've had they've had a large crop over the years. And Nadongo seems to be setting the pace now for this team. And every right. year this, so it's great to see him get a sectional championship. You know, another takeaway from that is Canal Winchester <laughs> was the highest finishing Central High team and really looked great doing it. And we talked about like his plan all along was to go to the sectional, get my get some experience up yep. in uh, Perrysburg district, have them ready to go for next year. And that plan, apparently at this point, seems to be on track for what he envisions going forward. The Roush boys are doing an incredible job up there. Keep it up, guys. Well done indeed. Do we know how many sectional qualif or district qualifiers they had? Did they have eight, seven, eight? Uh, I didn't get that. Ah, blank. I remember seeing it on Twitter, that's all. Uh, Sean, that's Whitehall Yearling. Let's talk Watkins Memorial. My son was there, but he wasn't reporting for ITC, unfortunately. But we know what happened. Olin Tangy, if you watch the show, if you watch the show, Olin Tangi goes runs away with it. 259 and a half points. What, 13? 13 district qualifiers. 13 district qualifiers. The most in the central district. The most in the Not central Not to give away district. the rest of the sectionals, but Olin Tangi is able to best Hilliard Bradley, who came in at 171 points, followed by New Albany, a team we haven't mentioned all that yeah, much this year. Yeah, we can see the results there, and I think, I don't know who I talked to about them. Like, hey, they're really up and coming. They're really starting to get it going out of there. The, yeah. The community's coming together. It's a great showing for them, and also good to see that community start to pick it up in wrestling. Love it. Now, Olin Tangier was your champ. They didn't have 11 champs. <laughs> they had five, though. They had Sherman at 113 pounds, Veronelli moving up to one, uh, at 126. We had Gore at 145, and then Flanagan at 152, and then... Hill at 170 does a great job. Yeah. Able to. Any other schools have multiple champions off the top of your head? Oh, I know one. Hell, your Darby. Oh, that yeah. Your usual suspects with Cover and Ball. Well, and I then think those two guys are unusual suspects, <laughs> not usual. <laughs> hey, it's great to see Ball back on the mat, too, by the way. Great to see for it. all of the uh, 50 seconds he was probably on there. Yeah, it could have been. Sean, I got a question like that. for you. I know. I we know. asked about multiple champs. What about the home team? Ooh, the home team. Bro. I think they had a champ. I'm going, yes, I'm going 160, Cole 4. Yes, most certainly. Grandpa 4, always good to see you. 
<laughs> he got mad at me one day. Um, but oh, it's not just me. No, it wasn't just you. Got that effect on That's other right. Too? Yes, most certainly. Great job, Cole, for bringing home a championship, not only for Watkinson Memorial, but also for Mason. So we remember that. Uh, four, um, Watkins Memorial. Let's go over to Upper Arlington, Sean. I sent you a text on. Maybe Saturday morning, maybe Friday night. I think this is the most balanced after the pre-seeds came I out. Agree. Like, I agree. like looking at it, it was pretty nice. But Dublin Kaufman, I swear there was a one point that Dublin Kaufman was in third. I'm telling you, I, I looked down, scrolling the day, and they after ended up the winning. fourth match of the day. They might have been <laughs> third. <laughs> they may have been. Well, that random buy that gets you. There you okay. go. Dublin Kaufman walks away your champ with 212 points. Upper Arlington. Who we mentioned, we they flirted around the top ten. The yeah, top, good domain team. Yeah. Heck yeah, they had two hundred five points. They had a couple of late season adjustments that yes. helped, oh, yeah. helped them. And then Taze Valley comes in with one hundred seventy eight and a half points. Those are your three. Now uh, Dublin Coffin walks away with four champs. Uh, Bowman at one hundred six. Was it Murray? Did he do did one there? Yeah. Yes. No, no Gonzalez did. did. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, Gonzalez did. Gonzalez did at one thirty eight. Yost at one forty four. As my sidekick likes to say, Yost. And then Wallach at uh, one eighty two. You got Gonzo at thirty eight. I did. Gonzo's yeah. at thirty eight. Yep, he's okay. there. Home team. Did they have champ? Did they have a champ? I'm gonna call they had multiple champs. My man. Which is they, more than one. That's right. And I sort of messed up with Heron at 113 because he did win it. He was able to best Murray. And then they had Bowers, 120, the guy we were told about last year. Like, watch out for this kid, yeah. man. Stud. And Coming then they, down from 26. It's yes. First time you wrestle 20. One of those late shifts. Yeah. And then the Candyman, Trifellas. Candyman, Trifellas, another late move down mm -hmm. there. I actually love him at 52. I think that's a Dude. great weight class for him. I'm excited to see how he wrestles at Darby. He's at 60 all year. I think this is really a good weight class for him. I'd love to see like all the like the whole bracket laid out and then someone talk about each match. That'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. Do you know think that? No, I'm, you know, I'm going to write that down. That's an idea I'm going to hatch real quick. Okay. Just, you know, wet the whistle a little bit. Let's go to Marysville, Sean. I was there. The Cougars were there, but I'm not going to mention Westland. I'm not going to mention how we had three <laughs> district qualifiers with the fourth alternate. I'm not going to mention that. Uh, Sean, we're going to talk Marysville with 279 points. They were able to up in Hilliard Davidson, who I would like to talk about a little later. We talked about them. I'm telling you. That went at Hamilton Township. Yes. They were at uh, the Rayman, kind of yes. coming together as a team, finding spots to fill around with yes. three superstars they have. 209 and a half points they had, followed by Dublin Sciota, another team that we've talked about all season long, 172 and a half points. Did a great job. Marysville walks away with not one, not two, seven total champs, Sean. How many district qualifiers did Marysville get out? Can't be 13 because Olin Tangy had that. I'm going to go with either 11 or 12. 12, you were there, 12. you don't know. Well, I was kind of busy on, doing seriously. it. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you where I was. I know exactly where I was. I'm going to tell you about that. Hus, hus, oh, I just room. threw that yeah. right up there. <laughs> yes, you, you did. Time. Hey, I'll get there in a minute, but I do want to mention Jones at 113 was able to open in Cruz in a great match. Um, Heard in a fantastic match that I will come back to at 145 pounds. Marsh at 152, another great match. DeWitt wins at 170. Logan Painter at 195. Uh, Schmiegel at 220. And then finally, Conley at hey, 285. That was seven, I think. Was it seven? Oh, you had the Euros. I was all over the place. Euro, that might be the yeah. most champions of any team in Central Ohio. Might be. Might be. Go back real quick. 145 pounds, dude. Madness. Madness. Dude, Demetrius with like three seconds left. Hits an, a duck under and Hurd automatically goes to a Gramby. They land. I mean, it was very close to out of bounds. Either way. And I'm sure Marysville says no, it wasn't in. And Hillary David swears it was in. It's going crazy. Sean, you've not heard this story yet. This no. is a great story. He does the duck under, he grabbies, he ends up, and they fall out of bounds. They give two. At the buzzer. At the buzzer. The question now becomes... I know the question is. What's the question? Did you see zero, then tap? Or when it was at one, <laughs> did you tap when it hit zero? Now, that is a true question that would have occurred. No kid but, knows if it was zero when I tap. No kid knows. But who's tapping? Is it who your Davidson kids? Uh, Rena, no! Marysville, no, it's Marysville. You know what he said? Oh, time was way out, dude. That wasn't even close. <laughs> he didn't really say it like that. But they said, "Hey, screw it. We're going back. We're overtime." So and they gave the two. Then. They gave the two. Okay. They brought them back to the center. It was a big debacle. And, but my whole point is overtime. No. The kids. I can't see a debacle <laughs> in that scenario. Hey, the kids. They kept their composure. They were ready. Hey, if we're gonna wrestle. We're gonna go. If not, no problem. We'll move it on to next week. They ended up wrestling. Hurd ends away. Ends up with the two takedowns. Sudden victory to go to something else. Nope. Sudden victory. He got the two takedown with the, in about maybe twenty seconds. Okay. Another one. Marsh. Uh, that was a great match. He wrestled a very close match against a kid from a kid we we don't see from the Central District and Lyman Senior. Russell. Yeah. Yes. Way too much time on the Marysville, but I want to spend one last bit. One of the Hurd boys shot a deer trophy. Beautiful deer. Got it. Cooked the meat. Fed. What? 50 coaches, 
35 oh, coaches. Really? Oh, I'm t- dude, I went back for seconds, gone. Two crock pots filled with meatballs made from uh, venison and sausage. And uh, there's, I'm telling you, dude, it was delicious. You couldn't like get a plate like <laughs> a little bit. Hey, I wouldn't have been able to walk out of there with that stuff. No way. There, there's way too much time on Marysville sectional. But I brought this guy back a shirt from Newark and he can't bring me back anything? <laughs> dude, I'm drooling right now. I'm telling you, it was delicious, man. Wow. I can't explain it enough. Yeah, just keep telling me how great it was over there. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, I'll make it up to you. Are you going to invite this guy to the party and tell me about inviting him to the party? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna invite you to Hill Your Darby and we'll see if they can't uh, trump the Marysville. Hey, trump, what are you doing this? on the Saturday? I'm having a party. Can you make it? Good, I need my grass cut. <laughs> Stop. Me, Tell man. me about I'm at Marysville sectional, you're at the Newark sectional. Newark sectional. Sean, tell me about the Newark sectional. I love the Newark sectional. Oh. I feel guilty every year I go there and don't pay to get in. It's so phenomenal. And talk about hospitality rooms. Miss Martinez, Miss Thornsbury. Oh my god. We talk about those uh Jolly Pirate Donuts that have all the trees. Yeah, yeah. I love those. those. Whoa. They have Chipotle, pizza. Yeah, Bob Evans, uh, gravy and biscuits. I mean, mm. they have it all. There are such great mm. people out there. Um, There's the bomb. Great. It was a crazy section when I look at the team race. It was like a college basketball. I mean, like, Liberty made this huge run in the uh, championship semis and kind of took control of it, and they kind of flattened out the Compton semis. Compton semis. Westford North started to pick it up, and Lancaster got absolutely red hot on fire. I think Lancaster probably won every match in the contest by pin. They just absolutely oh, caught fire. Huge. So uh, it's kind of weird the way it played out there. But Lancaster was your champ there. Westford North got second, and Liberty got third. One quick point, and you just mentioned how they got hot with the pins. Yeah. Lancaster wins with 223 points. Followed by Westerville North with 214 and a half. Got tight that's there, eight and a half points. Do you think about and that? And Liberty's a point behind there. Yes, sir. That's what I was going. Liberty had 213 and a half. They can have three pins that puts them over the edge. Four pins that puts them over There it is, right there. Huge, huge, But huge. Lancaster did have four champions there, Mark. Who were the four champions? I'll tell you who they were. Logan Egan, obviously. Not only does he beat the scale, he also beats his opponent. How about Jacob Reed? Jacob Reed. Coming in at 13. I think he's a little undersized there, but man, he does well. He knows how to wrestle. Next up, Ronnie Norwood at 126. Crazy match there with Roselli. I think all eyes were on that one. Most certainly. I was watching thanks to the live feed. And then lastly, Bowman avenges a loss at 220 pounds. Uh, at the Olentang to Liberty Tournament against Ooh. Shaw from West. I was going to ask you where he lost to a match. Yeah, oh, I'm on that, baby. I'm okay. on that. So Before we leave Newark, what is the question there? Did the home team have a champ? They had two. Who were the two champs? I know Thornsbury was one of them, and the other one is Bartos at 145. They got back-to-back 145 yeah. and 152. And Bartos, follow us on Twitter. Great to see you, bud. Stick around for the whiteboard oh, predictions. Does? Yep, he just asked us about the What's the Prove Us Wrong campaign. Young man, the Prove Us Wrong campaign... <laughs> is a little thing we like to do here. Uh, we love it when people prove us wrong. It all goes back to a young man from Logan who uh, I said that he wasn't going to win, and he won, and he made, became a state qualifier and told me to stick my projections where the sun don't shine. And I said, young man, I can do that. Sean, Cardington, Madison Plains, Licking Valley, Whitehall, Upper Arlington, Marysville, Newark, Watkins Memorial. We covered them all. That's what we think we covered them all. We did cover all the sectionals. We got anything else we want to cover? Mm. Come on, uh, yeah, break it down. Things here. We got wrestler of the year award to pass out for this episode. Yes, we do. Anything else? I want to get to that, but I want to. I want you to tell me what else we got. The contest. What, what am I? Yeah, no, about? that's it. Those are the only two things. Okay. We'll talk about the you contest. Like, you had a big wind up. <laughs> yeah, there. I, I did. There's something I was really. Well, here. two things. Number one, the contest. I'm going to mention this first. The contest. We'll have the email address put out on Twitter. We'll give you the format. We'll also put it on Yappy, uh, the forum. We'll give you the form, uh, the uh, email address there and the format we want you to use. This way it makes it easy just to cross-reference and pick. You pick your top five in the order that you think they'll finish on all 14 weights. We'll pick ours. Then we'll compare them and we'll beat you. Right? Yes. Cool. If you beat us and you're the overall champion with the most points, you get an ITC t-shirt or a sweatshirt, whatever you want. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the coasters. Dang it. Um, oh, you really about didn't those in the lampshade, yeah. The lamp shade. But the last thing is the rest of the year award. Last year, uh, around uh, shortly after Christmas time, the new year, we lost uh, a member of the wrestling community in John Brown, an amazing individual, left uh, left behind a wife and some daughters, and uh, just a great man, the kind of guy that an opposing coaches enjoyed their time with. Like a lot of times, there's a little animosity there. Not with John Brown, he was a fantastic individual, and uh, shortly after his passing. Sean actually came up with the idea without even me knowing, talked about it on the show, said, hey, I want to do something for John Brown, make it a John Brown uh, Wrestler of the Year Award. We're going to do that. Not only did we do that last year with Ben Fry, we're going to do it again this year. And this year's 2018 John Brown Wrestler of the Year Award winner presented by 
inside the circle goes to none other. You want to say it? You can say it. Goes, on a roll right I am on a roll. Goes to none other than Carson Carchalava. I am, baby. Voice. Carson Carchalava, Olentangy Liberty High School. And it just so happens that his teammate is the actually the one who designed, cut, and stained this and put the insignia or the uh, the logo in there with the uh, burn marks. So this is Carson Carchalava's. We'll get this to you. And uh, Carson, great job. Keep up the great work. And we look forward to seeing the results in the future. Mm. I don't love the smell of this. Mmm, it's delicious. <laughs> Sean, that's our that's rest of the year show. award. That's our contest. Those are our sectionals. Sectional wrap up. Stick around. We've got the whiteboard predictions Ooh. coming up. And now you are inside the circle.